What's up, beating guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring in the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity. Let's start today's day. This is a part two of the video which I did, I think, around like five, six days back about first time travelers in airplane. Okay, so in that first part of the video, I explained to you guys until the time you sit in the aircraft. Now, what after that? All right, this video is about it. I'm explaining you from setting the aircraft experience till the time you get out of the airport on your destination arrival. All right, so sit back and enjoy this video. One second before I actually get into that part of the video, which is the topic of today. If you don't want to watch this particular part, what I'm about to talk, something which is very serious and it happened this morning, I want to share it out with you guys. But again, if you don't want to watch this part, directly go on this number and uh, you'll see the part where I'm starting to explain you guys what happens after sitting in the aircraft. Alright, just to give you a quick background of what I'm going to talk about. It is about my friend whom I know for last six to seven years now. This morning I was having a call with him and we were discussing about career. He graduated in the year of 2012 until this year hasn't been settled or hasn't been started to work in an industry or any field what he was relying on back until this month is doing small jobs or wherever there was money involved quick money that's how i actually met him i was i used to do a lot of small mini jobs back in the times in 2012 13 that's how i met him we became very good friends and this morning I had a very tough call with him. I feel that this is our responsibility to talk the truth to your loved ones and give them a mirror of your thought. What do you really think about? What's the point of lying to them or what's the point of comforting them with all the lies and keeping them in darkness? If you feel that that something is going wrong, you should speak up. That's what I did this morning. He's one of those guys who likes to talk a lot, a lot. He will go to everybody and talk about his plan of how he's gonna execute this and that's gonna convert into billion dollar. Literally, he's one of those guys. I kept listening to his plan, never got executed. He never worked on anything. There are a lot of people like this within our own society, within the community where we stay, within the, within the friend circle, within the family members, that their mouth is so damn big and their action is so little. These kind of people, they don't understand one thing that this fake confidence smells like shit to winners. A players who are in the market, people who are alphas, people who are alpha male or alpha female. They don't understand that when you talk all these things to people who are actually the people who are doing it, who are executing it, you just make your mockery in front of them. You're just a talking head. My only request is do not be one of those persons. Okay, do not be one of those who talks a lot and does nothing at the end of the day. I'll tell you one thing, you know why I'm not a popular guy on the internet? It's because I push hard work. Nobody in the history of mankind has ever achieved anything without working hard. Hard work should be in your brain and bones. Keep this thought that if you ever want to make a lot of money, nobody has ever become like a billionaire like this. Have you ever broken down this concept, written down on a piece of paper and reread it by yourself? It's a joke. It's, a, it's, it's, it's seriously a joke. You can't be looking out for shortcuts like this. Money doesn't come like that. If you keep running behind money, you're not going to reach anywhere. One last thing I want to tell you guys is remember one thing that if you are someone who's willing to work hard and ass off, I'm standing next to you, all right? Every single day, I'm gonna remind you how phenomenal the life is. Every single day and every single minute, I'm gonna remind you how phenomenal this life is. And I'm gonna make sure that I get into your skin and skull right here all the time to push that fucking negativity out of your mind. I'm gonna be sitting there, I promise you. Let's start with the actual video. Sorry, uh, I had to share those things with you because I feel that uh, we are humans first, okay? Before I talk whatever I'm doing on this channel, um, I think that it is important for me to connect with you guys on a very emotional level. Otherwise, it's just that, you know, I don't want to be that guy who comes on the internet, uploads a video and goes back. So I want you to switch on this imagination 
power of yours while I'm explaining you all these things because it requires an imagination if you because this video is only for for someone who has not gone to airport or never had a trip with an airplane right so the last video which is in the description for you guys I spoke until you sit in the aircraft let me do a quick recap and then start further so that you have a context what I'm talking about so you're sitting in that waiting area uh, so that gate opens and you proceed in the aircraft I want to tell you that make sure that you keep your boarding pass your ticket and your passport in your hand these three things imagine that the doors have opened now so that airline lady or a guy would be standing there to scan your boarding pass they will announce it loudly saying that business class on one side economic class on the other side now depending on what kind of ticket you have bought uh, make sure that you stand in the queue business class people are given more preference and first class also that they will go first inside the aircraft then all the economic class category people you are someone who is into economic class so you go on this counter so this is where the, this lady is she's gonna scan that and then you go behind on the aero bridge and then the aircraft is standing right here while there is an aero bridge you pass this lady after scanning she'll keep the half part with herself she'll be giving you one part of the boarding pass to you you take that and you go inside so this small boarding pass which you have also will tell you what is the flight number where is it flying uh, what's your uh, seat number and everything keep this passport and this small boarding pass which is half part is with her now half part is with you uh, and proceed on this aero bridge go there stand in a queue they will let one by one people inside imagine now that you have reached at this door of aircraft there's someone who will be welcoming you like welcomes on board sir etc um, get in the airplane you you can see the cockpit on the left side while you're entering and they go inside take a right so the first category of seats are for business class and then first class and then economic class now this keeps changing uh, from aircraft to aircraft the capacity of it let's move on so um, imagine that you're walking in the aisle um, finding out where is your seat so first thing if you have any confusion there are always air hostesses standing on the way all right to guide you so check your boarding pass which is in your hand check the seat um, and then on the rim which is on top it'll be written the seat numbers once you have figured out your seat sit down and first thing what you should do is stack your bags this cabin bag which you have it the laptop bag or, or a small uh, something like this if you have this place it on the on the upper shelf and make yourself comfortable so first thing once you have done sitting there uh, make yourself comfortable if it's a long flight straight for eight nine hours then definitely you need some things to kill your time but don't worry uh, there'll be a television right in front of you you can watch movies TV series um, I think they're in multiple languages also so depending on which region you're flying from they always have such entertainment things right in front of your seat if this is my seat so the guy who's sitting in front of me right behind his seat there is there's a LCD other than that uh, there will be charging port for your uh, mobile phone so make sure that when you're sitting if you're sitting in between two people uh, you have everything right uh, there will be a pouch in front you keep everything right there so these are basically yeah just to keep you yourself entertained all right so let's proceed from here on so next thing what will happen once everybody is in the aircraft pilot will say uh, boarding complete please close the door now make sure that when you're taking off uh, your seat where you're sitting is not behind uh, they would definitely these air hostesses will come and tell you but anyway I'm just telling you guys uh, don't push it behind and if you want to push the seats behind the the buttons are usually on the left side on the armrest either right or left I'm not sure but there's always the button which pushes the seat back and then pushes it front for takeoff you need your belts locked and seats straight after this what happens is air hostesses will perform this uh, safety instructions demonstration which you will see they will show how to put the belt tell you guys what to do in emergency landing how to blow this waistcoat and all that you will get to see the live demonstration uh, what you have been seeing in the movies that they perform like 
these are the lights go left right there are exit doors and all that so they will demonstrate that let's proceed from here on now here's what is very important part it depends from flight to flight from company to company country to country a lot of times what has happened with me is before landing landing and then this is takeoff okay before landing air hostesses will give you a slip the slip is going mainly about customs so the slip will basically tell you certain things which if you're carrying for example could be if you're carrying more than ten thousand dollars make sure that you check the box and you claim it before you exit this airport after landing which I'm gonna to get to this part but for now just keep this in mind that you're supposed to fill out custom slip if you're not given a custom slip it's still fine maybe that's a airline policy you finally reached your destination now what before you go out of the airport you're supposed to pick up your huge bag which you have given if you remember right when you entered your your actual uh, city for example in my case in the previous video I said Mumbai so I've already given my big bag to this airlines now a lot of times what has happened in my case is air hostess have or, or a pilot have already announced that you can collect your baggage from conveyor belt number XYZ one two three four even if the pilot or air hostess have not told you you can still figure out after going out for example you go out now you get out of the aircraft you start heading towards the exit when you're heading towards the exit there will be a huge board a digital board explaining that from where the flights have come and their timings and the flight number and from which conveyor belt you can pick up your big bag now you have this big bag your laptop bag and your rucksack which is the backpack still make sure that you have your passport ticket boarding pass always handy three things always in the hands reach whether to keep it in the laptop bag or in your backpack head towards the exit now before you go to exit after picking a bag there is always a customs right in between there'll be green line a green exit and there'll be red exit you have anything to claim if you're carrying more money than asked or if you're carrying a gold if you're carrying anything expensive you're supposed to claim as per the country's law if you have anything to claim go through the red exit red line but if you have nothing to claim if you, you think that everything is fine with me I'm, I'm not carrying anything you still have to go through security again you still have to go through the scanners again even if you go through green and you think that okay I'm gonna escape even if you have something you would not yeah let's proceed from here on you have already crossed this green line now now what you are in the arrival area of Germany for example France Belgium Netherlands um, Switzerland anywhere and if you have someone coming up to pick you up from the airport uh, there is always a Wi-Fi on the airport like a free Wi-Fi immediately when you land switch on your Wi-Fi quickly connect it and start the communication if there is someone who's coming to pick you up or inform your parents that you have safely landed here now you're heading out because they will be surely worried all right guys that's it from today's vlog uh, that's what I wanted to share with you guys and uh, I'm sure I would have missed two three four points if you if I have if you feel that um, go ahead and put that in the description so that uh, you know others can get benefit out of it for now I would like to say goodbye and see you next time